So false doctrine here is false doctrine everywhere. Now, isn't it shocking that Pastor November and Bishop Zondo are friends? You you know, if you saw the earlier video, you know exactly where I'm going. But you might not know exactly the direction I'm going to take. But I wanted to show you that this friendship goes as deep as doctrine. Even in doctrine, they teach about the same among them things. Now, when I say that, again, it might sound, ah, Ricky. <laughs> ah, Ricky, Ricky likes exaggerations and what not. But don't worry, I'm going to show you that just now. It's strict reality show. The Daily Christian commentary video for the first time over here. Do be sure to check out the other videos that are down in the big comments and I must see you over there. Now, uh, put the title up. So, this whole thing of Gomarism, and you, you had earlier on when we speak about Pastor November, where he said very dodgy man type of things. But I'm going to show you that Actually, what Zondo is doing now, it's exactly what November is doing right now. Like, in their churches, they're doing pretty much the same thing. Actually, if you go on Bishop Zondo's page, all the way back in May of last year, 2022, you can see uh, November was there visiting, doing, oh, talking, talking, and everything. Okay, they had some chat chat and stuff. So it wouldn't be shocking that not only do they talk thingy, but they would be teaching roughly about the same thing. Right. Now, I'll give you an example. Right? I'll give you I'll give you one example. So you'll remember earlier on, November said something that was quite interesting right here. Uh, so the ancestors that smoke, we, uh, I think we also need you as well. So do you give the ancestors cigarette when it's not late or what? Now, if someone might say it's joking. The part that I'm asking is the need I want them. The part where he is declaring that he wants them. That's the part that's kind of dodgy man business for me. All right. So, he throws them cigarette. Those who are ancestors. So, I think I will need you. So, that's November. It's teaching on things. Now, also, Bishop Zondo has his moments where he says things which are like, ah, what was that? <laughs> You remember in that message called the 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 giving that helped Jesus minister <laughs> at around 19 minutes 10 seconds. This is what Bishop Zondo said on that one. They're telling people that don't understand anything. They said he speaks to the dead people. Even Jesus spoke to them. You also speak to them in your dreams. Even your so. Some of the weird doctors can speak. Uh, you see, so uh, November says he would want some communication matters with ancestors. Shop Zondo also says the same thing. So, looks like they are they are pretty much running on the same on the same fuse here. <laughs> you get what I mean. You get my drift. They, they are, they are, they are pulling on the same fuse. Now you'll remember November at at a, at a later on point. You can hear him bragging about people that are that he has healed. In that video we showed in the earlier in the morning video, that video will be down in the pinned comments. Now even if you go to Bishop Zondo, also at about fourteen minutes. She used to use a wheelchair. Oh, 
Her, word, her leg was supposed to be cut off. Those who know so, her remember would remember her legs. Okay. So, do you see what's going on? So, this whole thing that um, November was doing, I found it quite interesting that November in his own thing, he was also doing his own version. <laughs> you know, November was also doing his own version of this testimony obsession that they, they seem to be on. So, Bishop Zemba was doing it on his service last week, and November was doing it this recent week. They're doing roughly the same thing. Now, I'm going to show you another one that uh, November was doing, but I'm going to show you a certain part of November's message. That's a surprise, but give me a second. Let me show you another one that... Uh, Bishop Zondo was out there doing. You'll remember this. Actually, I forgot to show you this part when we spoke about Bishop Zondo's message last time. Zamaulos one thousand. It's your turn. They can do it if they want. It's your turn. The Bible says, without compulsion, okay, when, when it comes to giving, without compulsion, uh, not because there's a need that has risen, out of what you have decided, this is not how giving is spoken about in the Bible. You don't walk up to someone and say, go swipe 1,000. What? <laughs> That's not how... <laughs> No, that's not how we function. That's not how the church of God functions. But where does he get the idea that that's how it functions? Because if you remember a little bit uh, earlier on, on the earlier video, November as well, was saying something along these lines here. We're supposed to be proud. There's a, woman There's a lady in Johannesburg. The Soho sister. God told her to give me 14,000. So, you see, do, you see what I'm to, do you see what I'm talking about? There's this interesting thing that's going on with them. It's, it's weird. Uh, they're talking about God told him, God told this lady to go and give him money. Okay? That's what he claimed. That's what he claimed. That's not what I said. That's what he claimed. But I want to show you why he believes this is the way God wants them to operate. There's something that November said that I didn't highlight earlier on when I was playing you this message. At 1 hour, 18 minutes, and 30 seconds. Actually going towards... Uh, 50 seconds. This is what November said then. Tina. And Digayo. Can you see how important is deliverance? It's scarce. I don't know what he's talking about. This thing is everywhere. Like what they do here, it's everywhere. But wait for it. Yeah. From it makes people to drive from Botswana okay, and come from here. Botswana from Lesotho. For Lesotho, Limpopo, they are coming to this place. Let's back and Sena. Come to the owners of deliverance. What? <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> I don't know the people that follow these churches. I don't know what y'all are doing over there. He says, they are the owners of deliverance. Oh, okay. They're coming to this place. Come to the owners of deliverance. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I laugh. Because when you hear things that are not biblical, what to do? Come to the owners. I thought this was God's work. No, come to the owners. They own deliverance. Yeah, because we don't recognize it biblically. So we wonder, where did you get it? So wherever you went and got this thing that you call deliverance, people are rolling on the ground, doing whatever. That's why it explains why it's theirs. They are the owners of deliverance. They are demanding testimonies. People are being picked out. Yeah, go give money. You, my God, contacted you to go and give me money. The other ones have been told to go straight. No, the other one says, no, I speak to the dead. The other one says, no, I need those that are dead. <laughs> are you hearing it? Are you hearing it? I know. <laughs> it's the reality show. The Daily Christian commentary videos, if it's the first time over you, <laughs> make sure to check out the other video. They're down in the pickups. So share, tag them. <laughs> tag them so that they can understand. Uh, it's nothing different. Whether this one is just wearing a dress, <laughs> you just don't know, he's just doing this. It's one WhatsApp group. It's one WhatsApp group. Uh, for me, for you see my duty, my duty is simple. Just highlight. Highlight, add a little bit of value, and then I leave. <laughs> Tricky, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Yeah.